Alright, so to begin installing this mod, you're going to want to go to the Clone Hero Modding Discord server. There will be a link in the description, and head over to the full themes channel. And you just want to keep scrolling up until you see the inverted theme here. Scroll down to the download link. should be a Dropbox right here. There will be different folders where you can select which strike line you want, and there is an optional mod for the Whammy Distortion if you like that. So I'm going to go ahead and get strike line 1, as that's what I usually use. So we're going to download this zip file here. Now once that's downloaded, you want to go ahead and open up the folder inside. And there's a readme in here that has install instructions and credits for the mod, as well as some patch notes from the old uh, versions. So, well, to install, you just want to take these two files and drag them into the Clone Hero directory. And it should come up. Uh, oh, it's down here at the bottom. Okay, so you want to go ahead and open that and click replace. And now, once that's replaced, you can go ahead and go back to the modding Discord server and download CH Launcher from the CH Launcher channel here. So, go ahead and click on the little download arrow next to the CH Launcher EXE. And go ahead and download that. And once that's downloaded, go ahead and open it up. You might have to go into more info and click run anyway if you're on Windows 10. Now you need to go to the Game Patcher tab and select where your Clone Hero is installed. Once you do that, click I understand this warning once it allows you, and then click begin patch. There we go. And now that's done, you want to go to Tweaks Manager, and you want to click on Game Colors, right click, and download Tweak. And it should say you successfully downloaded it. So now you want to go ahead and close on that, and we're going to go to the Reshade. So to get Reshade, you want to go to reshade.me and download the latest version from right here. Once that's completed, you go ahead and open it. And you want to click the Select Game to Install to. And then you want to go to where your Clone Hero EXE is. Click on it and click Open. And then go ahead and click on Direct 3D 10 11 12. Then this window should come up, just click OK. And then now you're done with Reshade. Now what you want to do is go to the Reshade Presets channel and download my preset for the inverted theme. We have a Mediafire link right in the post. You just go here and go ahead and click on download. And once that's downloaded, just open up the Clone Hero folder and drag it right where the EXE is. And then you can go ahead and launch the game. Once the game's open, you want to head into a song. And you'll notice that the strike line is all messed up. So, you want to go ahead and press F2 and click Save and Load Profiles and click Inverted.CFG right here. And then make sure that you click Load as Default Profile and then click Save Profile and then press F2 to close it. And now you have the clone here uh, launcher theme installed. Now to do Reshade, you want to press the Home button and go ahead to the drop downs uh, at the top and click on My Theme. And there we go, now that we have the Reshade preset open. Now if you want to change the reset settings yourself, you can press home and go into this huge list right here of all the different settings. So I'm going to go back to my preset, and you can see that I have the bloom selected, magic bloom. And down at the bottom here, there's settings for it. So you can drag these sliders around and it's basically the exact same for every other setting. Just little sliders and some buttons. And you can change it however you like.